Hi, my name is Jackie. Welcome. Uh, we're going to do a uh, about a 20 minute yoga class today, a gentle flow that's designed to make you feel better when you walk off the mat than when you walked on it. So a nice quick class, so we'll get moving. Let's um, turn around and just come down to line our back. Gently roll it down. And just bring the left ankle up onto the right knee. And if you can reach behind that right thigh, otherwise you might like to use a strap. And just breathing here. Now let's straighten that right leg out. And just move the ankle around in one direction. And back in the opposite direction. And release and just place that foot back on the floor. Both feet on the floor. So now we'll do the other side. Place the right ankle on the left knee. Reach behind the thumb. Gently flex both feet and extend the leg up. And start to move the ankle around in one direction. And back in the other direction. Usually a few pops and crackles in the ankles when you do this. That's okay. And back to centre. Release both feet to the floor. Just bring the arms down beside the body and just roll the shoulder blades under a bit. And with the breath, we're going to inhale and tap the tailbone under, raising up. And as we exhale, roll back down. Just a couple more at your own pace, moving with the breath. And after your next exhalation, let's just draw the knees up to the chest. Interlace the fingers and just give the back a gentle rock from side to side. And we're coming back to centre. Just rolling onto your side. And we're coming up. We're going to make our way through to table position, so just up onto the, to the hands and knees. So from here, let's just uh, move through cat-cow, so chest forward, long through the front of the body as we breathe in, and exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Coming back to neutral spine and just coming down to sit on your heels. If you're not comfortable sitting on your heels, you can just sit up on your knees. Just moving through the shoulders, interlace the fingers. Let's inhale up to the chest and exhale, pushing the palms out towards me, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale up, exhale, bring your hands behind the body, chest out, breathe in, and exhale, let's do that one more time, breathing in, and out, and in, and out. And in, and out. Bring your hands together, interlace the fingers, draw the elbows together, and just start to move the wrists around in one direction. And back in the opposite direction, just warming up through the wrists. And release. 
let's make our way through to downward dog. So come into table first, nice and stuck. And we'll move the hands forward and make your way up to downward dog. Just taking yourself a little walk. Bringing the hips into it a little so you can open out through the sides of the body. And back to centre. Let's walk the feet up towards the hands. And just stay here and dangling, grabbing hold of the elbows. And release the hands down. Let's your head up. And exhale, fold all the way forward. Half lift. And release down. Step your right leg back. And bring the arms out the sides and up, palms facing each other. Let the shoulders, inner shoulders relax. And bring the hands down. Let's breathe in. As we exhale, just straighten through that left leg. You could always use blocks here too if you wanted to. We'll release and we'll come into plank position. So you can come back to the knees first if you want. Put just straight back and lower to the floor. Let's bring the sit bones back to the heels first and then slowly lower forward. And through the Sphinx pose, so bring those elbows underneath the shoulders. Push the chest forward. Let's release elbows out to the side, come back to wide legged child's pose. Make your way through the downward dog. I don't mind if you come down to the knees first or raise the right leg and then step through, left leg, inhale, arms out, all exhale, lower down, half leap and release, step the left leg back, drop the knee. Arms will come out to the sides once again. Keep that right knee stacked over the ankle. Let the inner shoulders relax. Find a bit of length through the front of the body. Release the hands to the floor. We'll straighten through that right leg. Breathe in. And breathe out. Find a stretch. to plank position. Let's drop the knees. Bring the sit bones back. Come forward. And as we lower down, elbows shaving the body, lower down to the floor, activate the core and push back up. And the sit bones back. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale down. Coming up, sit bones back, forward inhale, and exhale, lower down. We'll just stay there, forward on the floor, draw the shoulders away from the ears as we inhale, and coming up to baby cobra. Exhale down, inhale, up. a bit higher if you like, or stay low, whatever suits your body. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keeping the elbows in. And exhale down. Make your way back to downward dog. And we'll bend in the knees. Keep the length through the spine. Let's take the feet about as wide as the mat. Start to walk the hands back. 
start to come to a squat. If that doesn't suit your knees, you can stay up nice and high. Otherwise, come down to the squat. Just understanding that sometimes the wider you take your feet, the easier it is to get them flat, but they don't have to be flat. You can be up on the balls of the feet and that's completely okay. We're going to walk out and find our downward dog. Tuck the toes, lift up. Raise your left leg. And step through. Right leg. Inhale. And we'll exhale down. Half lift. And release. Set the left leg back this time and just turn the foot out. We're going to come up to warrior one. Just hold it there. And if it feels okay for you, spin onto the ball of the back foot. Bring the arms down beside the body. Let's inhale. Up and exhale out. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to inhale to warrior two. Just turn that back foot out. Find warrior two. Flip your full palm. Reverse warrior. We're coming through to easy side. back to your hip and straighten that leg up. Bring all the toes towards me and turn the feet out. Let's inhale here and bend the legs, keep rolling those thighs out, tracking the toes over or the knees over the second toes. Bring the arms up from get goddess pose and hold. Next inhalation, we'll straighten the arms, uh, straighten the legs and the arms, put the index fingers and thumbs together, and back down to place. Hands to hips, straighten the legs. Let's turn that left foot out and that right foot in. Bend that front leg and find your warrior two. Hands back to hips. If you can turn onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale out. Turn your back foot out, back to your warrior two. Find your side angle. Keep rolling that right chest out to the ceiling. A little tuck to the chin. And length through the side of the body. Let's bring the right hand back to the hip. And we'll step back up. Just heel toe back in to a standing position. So before we come to the floor, we'll come into Vrikshasana or tree pose. So finding a steady foundation through the feet, we're going to take our weight into the left foot first. And raise that other leg. So it doesn't matter whether it's, even if the toes are on the floor or on the calf, not on the knee, if possible, or up a bit higher. Wherever it suits your body is the right place. Bring the hands into prayer. You can leave the hands there or raise them up. Or maybe make branches. Let's 
bring the hands back to prayer, down to the hips, we'll raise that leg up, inhale, and exhale down. And shift our weight over to the other side. Raise the left leg, wherever it suits. Try not to let that hip move out. Bring yourself back to that midline, hands into prayer. Nice steady gaze, your drishti nice and strong. And take the hands to where it suits. That might be at the chest in prayer. Hands back down to the hips, raise the leg up, inhale, and exhale down. Well done. Standing in Tadasana at the back of your mat, we're going to make our way down to the floor. Let's inhale up, and exhale down. Half lift, nice flat back, draw the shoulder blades down, and exhale. So I'm going to step back to down the dog. High onto the toes. Let's drop the knees. And we're going to come and uh, either take the knees to one side or come back over the ankles. As we bring the hands to the back of the legs, we come up and balance on the tailbone, pushing the chest out. Raise the legs up, and you might want to keep the hands on the back of the legs or, or bring them out and hold. If you want, you can move with knee, left leg, and down, right leg, down, left leg, down, right leg, down. Right leg, down. Moving the hands to the back of the legs again, straighten if you like. We'll roll back down to the floor again, so slowly make your way down. I'm just going to do a couple of bridge rolls here again, so feet hip width apart, roll the shoulder blades down a little. As we move the hips up, we're going to move the arms up as well. Back the hands, touch the back of the floor, exhale, rolling down, hips and hands touching at the same time. A few more moves like that, moving with the breath in. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Can come down, just staying down and moving to our final pose, happy baby. Let's take the feet up, and drawing those knees down towards the towards the armpits. Some of you might like to rock a little from side to side. Shavasana, feet apart, toes falling out, arms out beside the body, surrendering to the effect of gravity, feeling all the connecting points between your body and the floor. shoulder blades, middle back, small of the back, lower back, 
hips and buttocks, back of the legs and heels. To you bring your awareness to the breath, and the gentle rise and fall of the navel in response to the breath, inhaling, your belly rises. Inhale, it falls. Sparking some movement back into your fingers and toes, bending the legs. Mm. Slowly making your way up to a sitting position. Thank you for joining me for class today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and I hope to see you at the next class. Thank you. Namaste.